Welcome back to AJC. If it's your first time here, sit back, relax, as good vibes are a must here on the channel. And consider subscribing and tapping that like button. It's greatly appreciated. Now, let's jump into the video. Guys, I'm sure many of you have seen what's going on with Voyager and the VGX token. So in this video, we are going to talk about why the VGX token pumped hundreds of percent and take a look at the VGX chart. So stick around till the end for the VGX token price prediction and technical analysis. Let's dive in and take a look at what's going on with Voyager token. Real quick guys, I've had a very time sensitive opportunity for you guys. AJC has partnered with BitGet to bring you guys some very time sensitive opportunities here. So we are actually currently running two separate campaigns here on the channel for BitGet. This will qualify for new users and also existing users by using the links in the description. So we have the first campaign, which is a one Bitcoin giveaway. This campaign will end on July 18th. So like I said, this is a very time sensitive opportunity to get in on some of these bonuses. To qualify for the one Bitcoin giveaway, just simply sign up using my link in the description, make your first futures trade, and you could be one of the lucky 100 people that will be sharing a one Bitcoin giveaway. Remember, this will end on July 18th. Then we also have win a cut of a Bitcoin. You follow the link, join the campaign, trade $1,000 of volume or more, and this will qualify you for this giveaway. This will be 77 BGB tokens. This campaign will end on July 20th. Sign up using the link in the description. Click join the campaign now in the link below. Start your first trade at at least $100 in volume. This can be one of the lucky winners to receive 77 BGB coins. Remember, this ends on July 20th. BitGet is the newest leading exchange that's taking on the crypto space by storm. They offer multiple different trading features, including copy trading, strategic spot grid trading, futures grid trading, margin and leverage trading. So guys, they also offer up to 125x leverage. Check it out. Remember, leverage trading is extremely risky. Make sure that you invest, trade, hodl at your own risk and only invest what you're willing to lose. Now let's jump into the Voyager token update. We're going to talk about this article from the Daily Hodl explaining why the token skyrocketed hundreds of percent. And then after this, we will be diving into the charts. I'll take a look at the price action and give you guys my opinion on that. So definitely stick around so that you don't miss the analysis. Now let's jump into it. So the native token of the popular cryptocurrency app Voyager, it's rattling. Despite several turbulent weeks involving lawsuits and even suspending trading on its platform. In recent weeks, Voyager Digital has issued a notice of default to crypto hedge fund Three Arrows Capital or 3AC, as well as filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. But over the past day, the VGX altcoin exploded from 15 cents to a peak of a dollar and three cents for a total of a 586% gain. Back in late June, Voyager first filed a formal notice of default to 3AC, seeking repayment of a previous loan of about $650 million comprised of 15,250 Bitcoin as well as $350 million worth of the dollar peg stablecoin USDC. Voyager then announced several days later that it was temporarily halting trading activities on its platform due to liquidity issues arising from 3AC's outstanding debt before last week initiating a restructuring process by filing for bankruptcy protection. CNBC reported on Tuesday that a federal judge in New York had frozen Three Arrows Capital's assets at a time when the whereabouts of fund co-founders Zhu Su or in Kyle Davies remains unknown. Very sketch. Later in the day, the VGX token began its massive upward swing. Although there is no direct evidence the court order caused Voyager to rally, also noteworthy is that since Voyager halted trading on their platform, investors who hold VGX on the app can't actually sell or take advantage of the rally. So they're not even able to take these profits. VGX is still available to buy and sell on at least a dozen other crypto platforms However, so they can still be traded on other platforms, but on its own, on its own app, it cannot be, its own native token cannot be sold. How crazy is this? So Voyager has corrected slightly after its initial meteoric rise, but remains up 412% over the last 24 hours at the time of the writing of this article. Now let's jump into the actual chart here and take a look at what's happening here in the price action for the VGX token. 
All right, guys. So one quick thing, obviously, just just one very quick thing to notice here on the hourly time frame. Obviously, we are getting a break to the downside for the VGX token. OK, and also on the MACD, you are about to cross something else that's uh, key to point out here is you are below the LSMA and you're getting rejected by it rather than getting back above it like you did here where you slightly fell below it and right here where you slightly fell below uh, below the LSMA in blue. You know, you sli slightly fell above it here, but you got rejected pretty hard by it, indicating more downside. So I'm looking at 42 cents coming up anywhere between 35 to 42 cents or so. This would be definitely a next area down for a quick little trade if you are actually trying to trade VGX token. Um, remember, keep in mind, this is not financial or investment advice. I am simply an analyst here. I am not a financial advisor. So invest, trade, huddle at your own risk. And like I said earlier, guys, don't invest more than you're willing to lose or more than you can afford to lose. Keep it keep it reasonable. All right. Now, with that being said, this doesn't mean that it's, it's done dumping, right? On the hourly, it does look like the... Uh, MACD and other indicators here indicating to definitely um, a quick swift move to the downside here around the 32 to 42 cent range. But let's take a look at some uptrends. We can take a look at some uh, trends here to see what's happening if we got a pattern going on. Um, obviously, it does look like the uptrend is broken here. Yes. So we did just recently break the uptrend for uh, VGX token, which means that, you know, we just fell out of this channel, which means we could put in a price prediction of this breakdown. And this simply is going to be the measurement here of the width of the channel. And if we pull this to the breakdown point, where does that take us to? Right where I said, 35 cents. So look at that, guys. I mean, the analysis playing out perfectly. We have some confluence here lining up with the EMA. You got the 50 EMA on the hourly coming down on you here with the EMA ribbon as well for support. So this target of 35 cents to the breakdown of this looks perfect here in the short term. Um, in the longer term scheme of things, I mean, really with the way this thing has performed, if we zoom on out here, let's take it out to the weekly time frame and pull it out here. I mean, look at this thing, man. I mean, really, there's not much to look at um, considering it's just dumped so hard. And this is the Binance chart. So there's not a whole lot of price history here going on going by this. But really, depending on what happens, guys, when you have coins like this and you have have things like this in the news, it brings so much attention to these these coins that even if it's super, super risky, some people see this as a great opportunity. They jump in, they FOMO in, they see it crashing down so hard, they see it pumping, they want to jump in. So that FOMO could be enough to pump the price up alone, right? In some cases. But me personally, I would steer clear of stuff like this. That's just my opinion, right? I would rather stick to these other coins that are doing well, right? Um, DDX, there's other coins that are doing well during these market conditions. Um, but with that being said, you still might be able to scoop this thing up once it uh, falls down from this nice uptrend and it might get a nice bounce in. You might make some nice profits. If you take those profits, always remember to take those profits. Keep in mind, Bitcoin is falling below $20,000. Bitcoin is looking like it's setting up for possibly a bearish move to further downside. Um, so we could see these altcoins, many other altcoins as well, perform the same way. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching this quick update on Voyager token and what's been going on with it. Hope this was informative enough for you to get, kind of get an idea and maybe get your brain moving so that you can go out there and check it out, do your own research, decide what you want to do with it. Um, this thing has pumped hundreds of percent. That doesn't mean that anything's guaranteed. You could easily lose money with this, especially getting in in a coin that's up hundreds of percent. So bear that in mind and take caution. Also, guys, don't forget to check the links in the description and don't miss out on this very time sensitive opportunity to get in on these Bitcoin giveaways here at BitGet. OK, remember. The one Bitcoin giveaway, this campaign will end on July 18th. And also the 77 BGB giveaway is going to end on July 20th. Okay, so don't forget, check the links in the description. Check out our token also, AJC token. It's been up over 7,000% since launch. We're doing very, very good in progressing and um, building and growing the community around this project. So check that out for us. We greatly appreciate that like button getting tapped. And of course, subscribe and join our community here and join us on our cryptocurrency journey. You're not alone in this. Let's go and let's get this crypto. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.